Hey, really welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. This is what we've got today. This is the uh, Lansdowne uh, West Coast IPA. It's from Bath Ales. It's uh, 5% ABV in a 500ml bottle. Picked this up in Tesco. I was paid about £1.70 for it, something like that. Um, so West Coast IPA. So we're expecting something that's um, clear, hoppy, I'm expecting a nice bit of bitterness to come through as well. So that's kind of the signature of the uh, West Coast IPAs. Um, you, you do get the hobby flavours that you do get with those East Coast ones. But the bitterness, it should be quite pronounced um, with the West Coast ones. So that's kind of what we're looking for uh, as, part, as part of that. So hopefully that's going to come through. Find a way to find out. Let's crack it open. Let's get it in the glass and let's see what we've got. If you haven't already, whilst I'm doing the pour, please remember to subscribe. I like it when you subscribe. And if you've had this before, you've got a West Coast IPA for it, let, comment on it, let me know what you think. So let's get into the glass, see what we've got. On the pour, that looks really good actually. That looks really nice. That's poured nice and clear. Good one finger foamy head. It's a golden colour. Some very moderate carbonation going on there. That looks really good. Might look at that. Let's see what uh, it's, it smells like to get a nose in there, shall we? Smells fruity, it's what you expect from West Coast. A lot of fruitiness from the hops are coming through. Some nice floral notes. It smells great. You've got the tropical notes coming through. There's plenty of grapefruit in there, I'm smelling. It smells. It's mild, but when you do manage to get that smell, that aroma. Smells really juicy, smells really nice. Looks lovely. Looks great, smells great. See what it tastes like. Cheers, everybody. That's good. That's nice. We've got some nice, on the multi side of it, you've got some nice biscuits, biscuity flavours in there. Grapefruit in there as well. Not as pronounced as I thought it was going to be the grapefruit, but that, that's that's really nice. Some other little fruity flavours in there as well, but quite quite mild at the, at the back. Citrus is in, in there as well. You can feel a little, cetra, little zesty zing around the mouth, which is quite nice. Hmm. That's quite tasty. It's not overly complex, but bees don't always have to be. Just starting the stout. Now just starting to get a little bit of piney bitterness coming through as well. Yeah, it's a nice, nice bit of bitterness coming through. So that pininess is just making a little bit dry, just allowing that bitterness to form. I think I've got that just about right. It's nice. That's five percent sessionable. It is an easy drinking um, beer, and I can feel that flavour, that bitterness, is going to be quite long lasting as well. It's everything you want from a drink like this. It's um, crisp, refreshing, fresh, lovely head. So everything we expected from that, we expected some nice happy flavours to come through and we thought that with the tropical notes. Put on the grapefruit, a little bit of citrus thing in there as well. 
it's put, obviously poured clear. Nice bitterness as well. I can feel that bitterness building. And as I go down the glass, that'll build even more. And that feels like that could be long lasting as well. That's really nice. Um, yeah. I would definitely buy um, Lansdowne West Coast IPA again. They do a couple as well, Lansdowne. I've never had anything from um, Bath Ales. But um, yeah, I'm going to search them out. I know uh, Tesco's do quite a few. So I'm looking forward to them. I'm pick a few more of those up because they're quite nice. I'll try some more and get some reviews done. That's lovely. Score wise, easily 8 out of 10. Cheers, everybody.